All right, let's do a follow-up video, guys. We are getting cranked in the market today. We went over how to trade liquidity grabs with zone break combo, all right? So we knew going into this trading session that we've been in a hard downtrend. We've been in a hard downtrend. We've got a zone indicator that's been short since yesterday at 4 o'clock. If we look at it over yesterday right there, that's when our zone indicator turned red at 4 o'clock at 4.03. It's been red zone all the way down, red zone. So going into the trading day, I told traders that we're only going to look for shorts, shorts only. So how do we do it? Our zone, our zone indicator is down, shorts only. So what are we going to do? Let's prey on the counter turn traders. Let all these oscillators and trading rooms and all this that try to buy low and sell high and these algorithms and banks and hedges, let them try to keep trying to buy this low. We want them to try to buy this low, buy these lows, keep buying these lows. Because guess what? The smart money, what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to take that low out and they're doing it again. Again, okay, another trade just came up. And so what we do with these algorithms with this algorithm is this sim scalper is we're looking to trade shorts only so we start off today at eight o'clock had some good trades all right we did a video this morning had some good trades 810 liquidity grab short liquidity grab short liquidity grab short we came into news and I said there's news today at 945 we had news today at 945 all right so 945 today going into news here's a news event on the microphone, I said, listen, we want to wait until three minutes after the news event, all right? Because when you trade this SIM scalper, you want to trade right into the news event. News event was at 945, right there, where the vertical line is. I said, wait, the, zo the zone trends down. We're only going to look to short, okay? So we're going to look to short, but we're going to wait for the first, first liquidity grab a liquidity grab is categorized, if you don't know what a liquidity grab is, that's a stop hunt. That's where the smart money brings all these counter trend traders, all these oscillators that say to buy low and sell high. They're trying to get in. The max diverging, there's divergence buying, uh, moving averages across over to the upside. It can't go any lower, right? Wrong, right? Counter trend traders typically always get wiped out. So what the smart money does is they bring this liquidity they grab liquidity bring it against market trend we knew market trend was down since 4 p.m. yesterday 403 yesterday right now it's at 951 so at 943 I said wait until 948 three minutes after news look for the first deep liquidity grab we get which is right here this chart that we have four members in the live room there's a 15 tick hard maximum stop on this chart the first deep hard liquidity grab was at this level. There's your deep liquidity grab. It was ticking green, 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 wiping out counter trend traders. I was on the microphone. I said if it closes back red with a zone break, the zone break is that yellow automated candle. That tells you that we are breaking market structure. There is your entry, and the entry was right there at 55.35 short. 55.35 short. Right after news, five minutes after news, with a 15 tick hard stop. Market gets crushed, absolutely crushed. Comes down, has a couple liquidity grabs in between. Then they try to grab liquidity, fake all these counter trend traders out again. Get another market structure break, short 28. Originally from the 35, it got down to 22. 35 short, down to 22. Then they wipe all these counters out again. They bring it back green, bring it back green, 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 green. We know zone trends red. We know we're still shorting. So what they do again, they bring it down. We don't have a liquidity grab here, so this is not a signal. But then what they do is they grab liquidity grin, and they have another signal to go short. So from this original short position of 35, the market has now moved from 35 down to 14, 55, 14. We've only taken short positions. All these counters here got wiped out. Counters here, all these counters got wiped out. All of them. All these counter trend traders wiped out again. 
That's our methodology. We want to go exactly opposite what the public and the counter is doing. Typically, the public likes to buy low, sell high. Are they looking to look at Fibonacci support levels or S1 or R1 or, or PP levels for support resistance? Or there's divergence or the max crossing over, there's moving average crossovers. No, no, no. We look at market depth. The market depth said there was a liquidity grab and then it turned right back red right into our zone break and got us short at 35. We're rolling down. Our short sim scalper is really doing well again today. Off of the micros, if you trade the micros, this is a larger Rinko size, the 150 Rinko size. So we don't want to trade the big contract because you're going to get deep liquidity grabs on this, right? If you're trading, a lot of you guys are trading prop firms. You're using prop firms money, right? A lot of you guys are trading Apex. There's like four or five of them out there right now, top steps, so on. If you trade this, the best way to do it is the micros because you have a trailing stop that you need to stay in to, on those uh, on these prop firms. So go you go larger contracts with the micros to get through that. They've done very very well today. They started their short out at 55 and three quarters and 55 52 and a quarter. 55 52 and a quarter. It's still short. It's down to 55 13 from 55 and 52 and a quarter. So if you're using a prop firm through Apex or through Top Step or what have you, you know. If you have a uh, a lot of them, a lot of you guys use the what the fifty thousand dollar prop firm account with a twenty five hundred dollar trail, you know you can go up to what twenty micro contracts and still look for deep liquidity grabs and do well with it. You just can't go on that on a large contract because these deep liquidity grabs on a lot of large contracts. But the micros work quite well with the one fifty. It's doing one well today. If you got a larger account size or a larger prop account size you know you can get through these liquidity grabs and do the larger contract if you want to do that with these prop firms so that's doing very very well with the sim scalper so if you notice today like I said on our smaller Rico size we use in the live room and you members uh, I updated the PDF on the um, in the live trading room I mean for members only I updated this Rico size this Rico size is in the updated PDF in the members download page. Go to the members download page. It's in the beginning of the members download page on this chart. You can literally just trade off of this chart by itself on the S&P with these zone breaks. I'm sorry, the combo, this chart with the with the our zone indicator, our zone indicator is down. Just stick with the overall zone trend. And then just look for trade setups that have liquidity grabs with zone breaks. There's your 15 tick hard maximum stop. Beautiful day of trading again. Sticking with trend direction. Trying to short low and buy lower. The difference in this algorithm than all the other algorithms are out there. It looks to short low and buy lower. Why? Because all these counter trend traders, they're getting wiped out. So guess what? They start bringing it back lower. And these sell stops just start feeding on the market. All these are sell stops start feeding on the market, feeding on the market. It's about ready to give another liquidity grab here, and all these counter trend traders are gonna get wiped out again. Look at all these counters. You gotta love it. Counter trend traders think they're smarter than the market. They're trying to outguess the market, and they're getting taken to the woodshed because they are looking for a counter move. They're trying to buy these lows, right? Buy these lows can't buy these lows if they're just going to keep rolling it back over. All right. So great job this morning.